Disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk. And with this, your discretion is advised. By the way, I don't think I've ever asked. Why Mana in particular? You're asking why she's my favorite? Well, aside from all the points I've made previously, I was in a pretty poor headspace for some time not too long ago. I found Mana stream and it got me out of a rough place. It was a place where I felt like I belonged. I also took inspiration in the values that she embodies. Oh? Makoto doesn't say anymore. She probably doesn't want to pry any further. It's like... The person, the person, like she's just met somebody that likes to watch her being as a, being in her VTuber persona and learning that basically they got them out of the, out of the hole and the hole is not very good. And it's far from ideal. I don't know how to describe it, but it feels like Makoto is out of reach. Like there's too much I don't know about her. Oh, she's out of your league. Ha 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 And I feel like when it comes to concern, we have to dance around each other so as to not feel like the other is being burdened. Chupa. Connect. Hmm, somehow the see this small seems very familiar. Oh, familiar. Why don't we continue from the last time? Where we went shopping with Natsuki. Because of reasons. <clears throat> you can tell me if something's wrong. <clears throat> anyway. Arrive at the station of about 30 minutes prior to the agreed upon time. There's a light bus lost near people. <laughs> There's a light bustle of people around the station, presumably making their way to their lunchtime arrangements. I look around for any sight of a girl who looks like she could fall over from weariness at any time. <laughs> wow! That is very nice to say, Shoma. Nope, seems like Makoto is still in bed. She might be on her way. I'll probably just wait a bit and call her once it's almost time. As soon as I turn around to find a bench to sit at, I met with Makoto giving me a playful smile. Oh, what's this? You're here early. Guess you were really excited to see me. Are you just going to ignore the fact that you're here at the same time? In fact, if you were standing behind me looking at me, you probably got here before I did. That's not because of you. It's probably because of my precious graphics, graphics cards. Oh? Wait, I'm less important than those scrap cards? You're less valuable than done one thousand dollars. Aha! Next thing you'll you'll ask me is if I'm a girl or if I cry myself to sleep every night. <laughs> Come on, don't be asking the obvious. I think I just heard something concerning within those layers of firing. Nothing concerning here. Are you sure you that I'm a girl? Now come on, let's take a seat already. We still have time before our train arrives. I I have a very I feel very bad right now. Makoto walks over to a nearby bench and takes a seat. I follow suit, but I'm unsure whether it's appropriate for me to take a seat too close to ne next to her. I flourishly calculate the distance to create between Makoto and myself so as to not create an awkward situation and then take a seat. 30 centimeters, 30 centimeters, 30 centimeters. Ich muss nur sicher stehen, dass wir genug Zeit haben. Allerdings seht ihr zwei da drüben recht kuschelig aus. Das gebe ich mir quasi die die körperliche Nähe zwischen uns. So richtig, oh, hallo. So, Schulter und Schulter, hä? Ne, schiebt sie sich gute 30 cm von mir weg. Hast du das dann genau gemessen oder was? Ah, ja. Here is your butt. Here is my butt. 
40 centimeters exactly. On decks. On point. Huh? Why don't you sit so far away? Boy, I must be bad at math. <laughs> Aim. But this could also be one of her plays. I already know your tricks. You're going to say something as soon as I try to get closer to you. Am I that predictable? Yes, I might as well be reading your mind at this point. What am I thinking about then? You're thinking about how I'm going to respond to your question about what you're thinking about. No way, you actually can't get rid of my Okay. We both give a good laugh at ourselves. So, didn't you say that noon was the earliest you could make it out of bed? Well, I found a little bit of extra motivation to drag myself out of bed this morning. Oh, and what was the motivation? If I'd stayed in bed any longer, I would have kept thinking about certain things that I'd rather not to think about. Ah, same. I'm curious as to what things she was thinking about, but I probably shouldn't try. Yes, you shouldn't, please. I got that. Sometimes your bed can be your best friend when you want to lay down and think about things, but sometimes I'll keep thinking about things I don't want to. Again, same. Either way, you seem to be about as tired as you usually look. That's the thing. No matter how much time I spend in bed, I can never shake off my tiredness. Same too. I don't know how. Like... I would like to get to bed in time. Okay, I go to bed at a good time. But sometimes I still suddenly fall asleep. During the day. Some reason. Even on the rare occasions that I get enough sleep, I just end up feeling more tired the next day. Yeah. My tip here, energy. Also, another little thing here. Don't do any tips from me. <laughs> yes, unless they're legit. Which, yeah. This tip right now with the energy is just a little, not a very good one. Is it the work that you do that keeps you up? Sort of. Directly, that's part of it. And directly, it also plays a big part. I'll just leave it at that. Tired is my default state at this point, regardless of what I try. Might as well live with it. Well, hopefully today can be sort of a break for you. Yeah, I hope so too. Oh, we should probably get going now. The trains are arriving soon. Okay, let's go. We head into the station and make our way past the ticket gates. After scanning our passes, we arrive at the departure zone and board the train to the city. Basic wipe. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Another background that I know from it from somewhere. And I say only, oh, my God. Hey, what is it? About, about what you saw the other day. Is she talking about harm? Her obsession with knives. Her pen obsession. There aren't too many people in our section of the drain. I look around to see a couple of people seated, looking at their phones. It's been a while since I went into the city. I think the last time was a couple of months ago, with my sister. We seem to be pretty close with your sister. I'd say so. She's been looking out for me for about as long as I can remember. Welcome to Sister Space. You've been... She has been looking out for you for as, for about as long as you can remember. <laughs> I make too many more jokes. Even though I can't really do much for her in return. I'm sure she's not looking for anything in return when she shows her kindness. No, you're definitely right about that. I just wish I would be able to do the same for her. I sort of get that, even though I don't have any siblings. Oh, do you like it that way? Or do you wish you could have siblings? In immediate depictions of siblings' relationships, 
Well, maybe not the weird ones depicted in most anime, but some of them object depicted as it's kind of hard, hard to describe. Being able to be in a relationship where it's so natural to support and understand each other is something I'm jealous of. There's a unique dynamic to it that I can't see depicted anywhere else. It really is natural and special. 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 But I wouldn't necessarily say it that my sister and I fully understand each other. Of course, we grew up together, so there are some things we just pick up on. But there are, are a lot of things we disagree on and don't really understand about each other. <coughs> Which was what? Like she doesn't really touch anything anime related and I don't really understand her desire to interact so much in person. But I think we're okay with that. We still live a lot of each other, other, each other anyway. Ah, oh, I see. I'm glad that you have such a fulfilling relationship. Makes me want to steal your sister for myself. You can try it, but knowing her, I'm pretty sure she would sm smother you with her affection as well. Oh, sounds nice. I'd like to meet her someday. <clears throat> well, she's coming away in a few days, I believe. Maybe there will be an opportunity then. Sure. Makoto and I continue to chat while taking glimpses at the passing backdrop of the coast. Uh, the train eventually made it stop at the city. My urge to say something somehow increased with this backdrop and I don't know why but I need to say somebody's running fast but nobody's fast at instance <coughs> sorry we head off the train and walk out of the station tall buildings and busting streets around that surround us so what's the plan for today what plan? You know, what were we going to do besides getting your graphics card? I didn't really think too much about that. Don't look at me like that. Fine, how about this? We'll grab what I need, then we can get something to eat, because I'm hungry. Then we'll figure it out from here, from there. Well, that sounds better than no plan at all. Lead the way. I told you that we should have gone in separately. Come on, what were the chances that the employee would recognize me? Oh. Well, how many other people have such tired eyes? That's a good part. The yeah, same thing happened with Mana, no? Seems hard to believe that they would, would have just gone to an electronics store the similar time and gotten rejected for the same reason. I mean, no point in thinking about it. There's no way that it isn't coincidence. We each head to the counter to order our food. After chatting a bit, we receive our orders and head to a table in the corner of the restaurant. I watch as Makoto half-hazardly half tosses multiple fries into her mouth. She chews without any consideration for keeping up in appearance. I laugh to myself at the confirmation that she eats exactly as I would expect her to. Hmm, you're laughing at me? You're looking for a fight? I just find it amusing how different you are from the friends I had in high school. Friends? This might come as, as a shock to you, but I had actual real-life people as my friends in high school. Makoto pretends to be shocked as she winds her eyes and opens her mouth, before quickly realizing she still has food in her mouth. She quickly turns her head, embarrassed, and finishes swallowing. I start laughing at the sudden series of events. That's a side of you I haven't seen before. The clumsy side. <laughs> Again! What are you doing here, Sayori? I didn't expect you to be a VTuber. I mean, 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 I
That's my yearly, yearly single mistake that I make. Thank you. Come again next year. Sure. But as I was saying, yeah, I used to have a few friends back in high school. Not like I was super popular or anything, but I had some people that I hung out with often. But they weren't, but they weren't relationships that I was exactly comfortable with. Makoto just looks at me quietly as she chews her food. I'm assuming that means she wants me to keep going. I felt, I felt like everybody was trying to keep up appearances and trying to appeal to each other for cloud reasons. Hmm. But the biggest reason is something else. Say, have you ever felt like nobody understands you? Hmm, I have. It's hard to completely explain though. Agreed, it's a mix of a lot of things. People might not go through the same struggles as I do. Some might have different interests. Some might think completely differently, even if they did have similar interests. Some might not understand anything. Thing. Some might constantly misinterpret me. Some might not be able to relate to any of my problems. <coughs> I finished the last of my burger. I thought you were you finished the last of your food. <laughs> and collect my trash onto my drain. So, where to next? Hmm, what about the aquarium? I haven't been there since I was a kid. Huh. Guy, girl, going, hey, having a nice time in the city, going to an aquarium, eating some food together. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a thing to me, no. Especially in a vision novel. That's sort of out of nowhere. But never like have I. Well, it doesn't seem like we have any better ideas. Let's go. Basic wipe we go. Makoto and I make our way through the aquarium's walkway, taking in the scenery of lush sea life and aquamarine water. We remain quiet, appreciating the quiet beauty of these lives that are detached from ours. We watch as a fish really swims by. Staying close to the ground. That fish looked a bit tired. Kind of reminds me of you. Oh yeah? That over there reminds me of you. I glance over at the direction of where Makoto is pointing. Only to be met with the side of a rock. <laughs> Ouch. That's just a rock. Yeah. And now I'm going to take that as a compliment. Don't tell me otherwise. I mean, yeah. If you, I mean, a rock can be shiny. Can be. can be nice. I would like to continue this with my, with my brain is thinking, but I don't. <laughs> Simply out of no. Makoto smiles as she slows her pace to take a closer look at the scene around her. That is nice. This is nice. There's a beauty there, here that I didn't appreciate when I came here as a kid. There's an entirely different world beyond this glass. Every fish here is living their own lives, doing their best, even if it might. Just beating and swimming around without the core in the world sounds kind of nice, actually. Makoto stops, continuing to observe the fish swimming around us. An entirely different world beyond the glass. That means we can only see the reality that they want to show us. Hmm, like a waiter. We might never came, come to understand their happiness or struggles. Struggles beyond the carefree life that they are presenting to us. They might not even want to be seen as carefree or, or happy. Maybe really that's just the identity we are pushing on to them. Makoto just gives a sad smile as she watches the fish swim by. How would we come to understand them if that's true and they're so far out of reach? Who knows? Maybe it's better if we didn't try to understand them. We might not want their vulnerabilities to be shown to others. Maybe all the others who look up to them might be horrified that the one that they've been following is just as lost and weak as they are. 
Yeah, but I think you're saying that 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 basically the going into an aquarium is like watching VTubers. Is, is that what you're saying? Of course, this is technically really the same. However, <coughs> if you go the philosophical route, then mm, yeah, it's even more. The sun is starting to go down by the time we exit the aquarium. The orange sky makes for a beautiful backdrop to the still energetic city. Makoto is silent as we walk. She seems to be thinking to herself again. We should probably head back to the station now. It's starting to get late. Makoto perks up and turns her head towards me. Oh, sure. Makoto is seated next to me, looking out the window. As always, she has this look to her, that she always has when she is thinking about something. What are you thinking about? What happened to be being able to read my mind? Oh yeah, okay, you're thinking about life. Being pretty vague, aren't we? Okay, I give up. What if I said I was thinking about you? Well, that depends. Are you thinking positive or negative thoughts about me? Positive and negative are all related. Relative. Okay, that answers my question. Please don't tell me what you're thinking about. I have a thought. It's, it's maybe, should I, should I not? Makoto gives a laugh before quickly returning a sad smile. Let's just say all of the above plus a lot more. Oh, well, I can say I'm not somewhat flattered that Makoto is thinking at least somewhat about me. Even though it might seem apparent from the fact that we basically spent the whole day together. But it's also Makoto, so I have no idea what she could be thinking regarding me. I don't even know why she's spending so much time with me. From what I can tell, she's pretty busy with whatever she does in her personal life. And I don't think I really offer anything to her. But she seems to always be the one to push for us to meet. Hey, Makoto. Hmm? How should I phrase this? I can just ask her why she talks to me. Um, I was just wondering. It seems like you're pretty busy with stuff and have a lot on your mind. Is it okay for you to spend so much time with someone like me? Huh? What do you mean someone like you? I don't know. It doesn't really seem like I can offer you that much. Well, that automatically makes you better than me. Not only do I offer nothing in return, I also take from people. I'm basically a parasite. I don't get that impression from you. Maybe so, but what if I said I was just associating with you to get something out of you? I don't know enough about you to fully confirm that. But I don't believe that. I don't like to believe that you're that kind of person. You don't know that much want me to know, but you're going to trust me anyway. Are you an idiot? Hey, that's my line. First off, second off, stop! Stop, game! Yeah, I guess so. You aren't even going to deny it. Huh. First of all, I don't think you're someone who offers nothing. You should value yourself higher. As for the reason I keep associating with you, Makoto is interrupted by the intercom informing us that we are at our destination. Come with me, I want to show you something. Oh? Oh, hello. Ooh. Makoto and I make our way out of the station. I start following her to what seems like the direction of the coast. After a few minutes of walking, we arrive at the beach. Oh, I knew about this place, but haven't been here too often. It's pretty peaceful at night, especially with most of the other students out of town for the break. This is somewhere I like to go when I want to take a walk at night. Hmm. Makoto and I walk along the shore, leaving behind footsteps in the sand, just short of the incoming water. Night sky is sprinkled with various stars, kind of remind me of Mano. As for the answer to your question, there's a lot of different reasons. I actually do think it's fun being with you. But in a lot of ways, I'm using you for my own personal benefit. When in 
Interacting with you is an escape for me. For a brief moment in time, I can forget about some of the things that are eating away at me. There's also something that I want to get an answer on, and I don't think that I can figure it out myself. Being with you, I think, will help me find that answer. Would it be something I could just answer if you ask me what you're trying to figure out? Nope, it's not something you should know. I'm being unreasonable, aren't I? I don't think it's unreasonable to not share everything about yourself. So you're okay with not knowing if I had any selfish reasons for talking to you? Have you ever thought that I could just be using you to further my own goals? And you'll just end up getting hurt? Marcus was making it out to be so terrible, but it's... Is it honestly that bad? Is it even reasonable, reasonable to expect people to try not to have any ulterior motivation for wanting to attack with someone? And are Makoto's reasons even that bad? Interacting with me could help get her mind away, to help her find some answers to her problems. And isn't that a good thing? I can say that I've really thought about that much. I don't really know about much about you, but I don't do want you to be able to find your answers. If interacting with me helps with that, then I'm willing to take my chances. And I think I take a little break right now. Just to... Because my mind is currently a bit of... Just going a bit of a run around. So, yeah. Uh, see you in a few minutes.